Hello and welcome to another video of One Stop in Stroke. Today we're going to speak about tandem lesions, so an intracranial uh, occlusion of the middle cerebral artery, for example, and a simultaneous high grade stenosis or occlusion of the cervical carotid. So, in this case, as we can see, we have a high grade stenosis uh, of the cervical carotid and probably a little bit of a thrombus hanging on the atheroma. And uh, from the CDA, we knew that we had an intracranial occlusion of the M1. So the first thing we do with this uh, simultaneous uh, technique we use, called the revised technique, is that we go through the cervical lesion with a microcatheter. We navigate a microcatheter through the cervical lesion. Uh, and then we reach the M2 segments with our microcatheter by using a microwire. And we place a stent retriever. So that's the first thing we do. We place the stent retriever in the M2 up till the M1. Uh, and with this, we start our thrombectomy uh, maneuver. And as you know, you usually wait a couple of minutes until the stent retriever has uh, fully opened in the clot. And you can use those a couple of minutes to actually tackle the cervical lesion. It's important in this technique to have a stent retriever with a 015 or 014 microwire. In this case, we use a 4x20 preset light stent retriever from Phenox. You can also use a 3mm Trivo. Both have a 015 pusher wire, so you can actually then use this wire to put a carotid stent in the cervical lesion and also then exchange for a PTA balloon and treat your cervical lesion while you wait for the stent retriever to fully open in the clot. I originally had this idea uh, while treating a dissection because you know while treating a dissection you want to find the true lumen at first uh, and then you ideally would like to stay all the time in the true lumen so you don't have the possibility of landing with your catheters or your wires in the false lumen. Uh, and uh, again, it's a great uh, treatment option also for uh, tandem lesions. Uh, but I initially treated a dissection with this technique. So I went through the dissection in the true lumen. I found the intracranial LVO. Uh, and then I treated the intracranial LVO and the cervical lesion simultaneously by using the wire of the stent retriever. So as we continue in this case, you see that we first navigate with a microcatheter through the cervical lesion by using a micro wire. Uh, and as we usually also do for the safe technique, we try to find the uh, M2, the inferior trunk uh, of the MCA. So you can see here, I navigate my uh, microcatheter and now my microwire in the inferior trunk. And uh, after pushing the microcatheter also in the inferior trunk, then I remove the wire. I push a stent retriever through the microcatheter and place it in the distal M1 and proximal M2. So while doing this technique, it's important to have an eye on the stent retriever. So I usually focus with my A C arm on the stent retriever and I use then the B C arm, so the lateral C arm, to treat the cervical lesion. And you can see here, that's my roadmap while doing this technique, the revised technique. And now you can see that I uh, push carotid wall stand uh, and set it free in the cervical lesion. Um, and the next step would be to exchange the carotid wall stand for a PTA balloon, in this case, a Sterling balloon, uh, and um, treat the cervical lesion. Then I perform angioplasty. And uh, while doing this, the stent retriever is up in the M1 segment and it's still working uh, and trying to uh, fully incorporate the clot of the M1. This whole cervical part, uh, it takes about five minutes. Uh, and then what you do, what we do, is that you do a control angiogram and try and see what's the situation intracranially at the moment. So as you can see here, uh, we see that the stent retriever is still in the place that we initially implanted it. Uh, we have uh, treated the cervical uh, stenosis. So the next step would be to push the aspiration catheter towards the face of the clot under aspiration. We do this always under aspiration. And also push the guide catheter 
distally to the cervical stand. So when you do your uh, save maneuver, your thrombectomy maneuver for the intracranial LVO, the stand retriever doesn't get stuck on the carotid wall stand. Uh, again, the next step would be to apply aspiration on both the distal catheter, the aspiration catheter, and the um, guide catheter in the cervical portion of the carotid, and then retrieve, as in the save technique, the whole unit, stand retriever, clot, and aspiration catheter under also proximal aspiration on the carotid um, guide catheter. This is the process as you can see it here and uh, with this we remove the clot. Again we have published this in the past, we have good results uh, in the first pass and you can see here the first series after doing this procedure it only took seven minutes to perform the whole procedure so from the placement of the stent retriever until recanalization and also simultaneous treatment of the carotid stenosis. And as you can see, we have a very good result after one pass with fully recanalization of the LVO intracranially and also dilatation and stenting of the carotid lesion. So to summarize which materials we use for this technique, uh, first, we place an 8 French uh, sheet or 8 French uh, guide catheter in the common carotid artery. Uh, we go through the stenosis with a, a microcatheter and microwire until we reach the inferior trunk of the M2 segment. There we place a stent retriever. Uh, and again, it's important to have a stent retriever with a 014 or 015 uh, pusher wire. Uh, so you can use this wire after you remove the microcatheter to push a carotid wall stand or a cervical stand in the um, cervical lesion, uh, then dilate it with a PTA balloon and then remove the balloon and push an aspiration catheter towards the LVO and perform your normal thrombectomy maneuver. Again, altogether, um, this uh, procedure takes around six to eight minutes, so you're not really losing time. Uh, you actually gain time because in the moment that you wait for the stent retriever to open in the clot, you use this time to treat the cervical lesion and then you can go up with your aspiration catheter and actually uh, treat also the LVO. If you want more information on this revised technique, you can click on the link below in the description to uh, find our paper uh, with our results uh, of this technique, the times, the recognition results and also some sketches regarding the technique and the materials we used. And uh, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, write them uh, below and we will answer them. And uh, subscribe to our uh, One Stop In Stroke channel for all the latest videos on new interventions. Thank you.